RC is sort of the poster child for female Transformers, meaning she gets a lot of toys, even if she didn't really get one until Energon. Any attempt at making a modern update of her G1 design has always lived at the same place. Put the car on her back. The slim physique over everything else. It's such a staple of her as a concept that even the masterpiece can't escape it. She probably has enough back problems as it is, this is just excessive. Reese's attempts in the Studio Series line have once again tried to capture this, with two figures based on two different movies. Starting with the SS86 one, the RC looks amazing and does a great job at capturing her look in the movie or cartoon. She's actually a slight retool or reimagining of her thrilling 30 figure, which seems to be more based on the Takara Legends version. Despite what this toy does, one of the reasons people praised the original was because of how it used the robot parts in the vehicle mode, which the new one completely abstains from, other than the chest of course. So now it's kind of like the Earthrise figure, just without the removable backpack, which I think we can all agree was dumb, right? And that is easily what stands out the most about her, her back. It's not as much of an eyesore in person, but still feels kind of ridiculous. So does this mean the karma was the priority? I don't think so, right? Hardly when anyone thinks of RC, they think of her car mode. They just think woman transformer, and that's sort of it. And that's really a shame, because as it is shown in other media, RC can and is a lot more than this. She comes with a sci-fi pistol to wield, and I kinda wish she still came with the dual swords, but oh well. Articulation's pretty good, but hindered by the junk in the trunk. She can hold herself up pretty well, and even has an ab crunch. Like what? This can be a detriment though, because it can sort of spaghetti her out of control, if that's even a phrase. thousand years later. Alright, I gotta admit, the car mode does look pretty awesome, but how we get there is another story. It's very fiddly, and also very hard to remember. I'm getting better at it, but it can definitely be a reason I don't pick her up to play with. The car mode itself is super sleek and smooth, and very pleasant to hold as well. The antenna on the back is detachable, if that interests you. And it generally gives off a 50s Cadillac vibe to it, which probably explains why she turns into one in Earthspark. Now for something more recent inspired, we have RC from the Bumblebee movie from 2018. And from a somewhat last minute design for the movie, it looks spectacular. It surprised me that a few weeks ago on Transformers Twitter, the fandom got in a bit of a kerfuffle over these G1 inspired designs, and it baffles me to no end because despite how you feel on the Bayverse designs, there are a few I like. This is better than this. Translated from toy form, all of the greebly mechanical detail maintained is awesome. This is something I generally praise the Studio Series figures for. It's very smooth and interesting to compare the designs back to back, seeing what was kept and so on. The head sculpt has always freaked me out though, looks very insect-like, and was definitely improved for Rise of the Beasts. The feet just suck though, right? It's very hard for her to stand, but giving her the chicken leg look helps it out a little. She comes with two mini pistols that add a lot of life to her, and can store on her back. Kind of. Articulation's pretty good. It isn't limited by a backpack at all, so that's amazing. Her thick thighs can sometimes cause issues, and the aforementioned feet as well. Bike mode, I guess? It looks pretty good, and very uniform. For being based on nothing but the robot mode, 
the designers created a convincing vehicle mode for RC, without it being a space car, but an awesome quad wheel motorbike, I think. And unlike other RCs, everything about her transforms into the vehicle, <laughs> maybe except the hands. Her weapon's gonna act as exhaust, but it's not very clear on where to put them. Stock photography says the hands, but the tabs on the rim say there, so yeah, I'm not really sure. Iver connection is loose though. In terms of toy fun, the Bumblebee one is just way more my speed, but if you want a G1 accurate figure that isn't that, then SS86 is your gal for the job. It's just also very interesting to see how to evolve a design that makes sense to the character. And even though I can be sort of a hypocrite when it comes to, let's say, the new Wheeljack design, I do think that this RC transition from, from how she was in Revenge of the Fallen compared to how she was in Bumblebee and Rise of the Beast, I think that is the proper way to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on my socials, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Hey guys, can I ask you a question? Sure. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Which is better, bike or car? Well, I don't really see the need to compare. Car. <gasps> they just look better. Ugh. Says you. How about you, Green Turkey? What do you think? Dinosaur! Wait, you literally just wanted to know which is better? In general? That's dumb. You're just jealous you ain't me! Oh, oh, oh.